Good morning, YouTube. So in this video, I wanted to take a closer look at some of these historic topo maps that I've been using to explore this area. You can see all my tracks here. So this is the Gaia GPS web interface, and I'm currently using the USGS topo map that they have. I'm not sure what year that map was made. It just says it was made before January 2021, but when? So none of the streams that come in to Stevens Creek in this area are named. So it makes it a little difficult to switch between maps because there's no name for any of these features. You have to just go by the geography. There's this 90 degree turn and then there's a stream here that comes in from the north and it angles off here to the west. And then there's a second stream here that does the same thing. And this is the area where that pond is. So this USGS topo map is quite interesting. It's got a lot of structure shown and a lot of or some of these old roads here. And what I found is not every map shows every detail. So you have to switch between these various maps. So let's go back to the USGS historical maps. This one is 1982. You've got the creek coming here, makes this bend up to the northwest. And then you've got the first stream coming in from the north. Now this particular map doesn't have a stream shown here, but that's where it would be if it were there. Now I think this blue blur right here might be the pond or it might be part of that R. Hard to tell. You, know, you have to remember these were paper maps that were run through a scanner. They just don't have the detail when you zoom in. But here's the 1961 map and this one definitely shows the pond. Yeah, so this map shows a lot of these old roads up here on the side of the ridge, and they show them as jeep trails. And apparently back in the 60s and 70s, people would ride up here, dirt bikes and jeeps. All these old roads were open and accessible, and that was quite a popular pastime back then. And then in 78, the open space district acquired most of this land up here. The county park owns this area over here and then the open space district has this side of the creek as the Montebello open space and then this side was the Saratoga Gap open space. But you can see the, the map clearly shows a pond there there's a couple of structures here that I need to try to find, and I think I've found this one. I need to see if I can get over to that location with this map. One of the problems, though, is this map in Gaia GPS is missing this whole area. It's blank. If you go 20 miles north, there's map, and you go a few miles south, and there's a map visible but there's a big hole in the map in this area, which is kind of frustrating. I can see it in Avenza maps. So anyway, that's the 1961 map. Shows a pond there. Now if we go back, this is 1948. I don't believe there's a pond here. I think this is their intermittent or seasonal stream symbol. You know, it's a solid line, three dots, and they have the same thing here. One, two, three dots, and a solid line. It's hard to tell if that's a pond or it just looks like the dot. As far as I can tell, there was no pond here in 1948, but there were two structures here up on this bench above the creek here. Now one other interesting thing to note about this map is look at this road. Here's where the creek goes around the bend and there's a bridge right here and then there's another bridge over here. Those are the bridges that were replaced in 2016 and they were there from a long time ago. But look at the the way they've drawn this road in. It comes up the side of the canyon and shoots across here 
it shoots across this canyon coming in from the side and then here it's way up on this side of the canyon it shoots down across the creek up this side goes up several hundred feet vertically up the side of the canyon i mean i don't know who figured the road went there but keep watching that as we go back in time like here's the road in 1961 Here's the bridge, here's the other bridge, there's a third bridge, there's a fourth bridge. So here the road and the creek are very close to each other versus 1948. The road was going all over. So here's 1943 and the road's doing the same wild thing. No pond there, there's these two structures. And then this is the interesting map. This is 1941, and you'll see there's the two structures, but what's missing? There's no road up here. In fact, if you zoom out, you'll see there's some roads over here, and there's Highway 9 right here, and this is Highway 35, but there's no road up the canyon. Those roads aren't shown, and I'm thinking that 1941 there was like something going on so this is interesting prepared under the direction of the chief of engineers u.s army 1940 and then surveyed by the coast and geodetic survey and then starting in 1938 1939 it was the army was doing the survey and then also photos from the u.s army air corps that's kind of interesting how that disappeared they you know they show some roads like here's the montebello road that's my observation on this one back here this is the oldest map the 1897 map Clearly, there's no pond up here. There was a bridge and a structure over here, and I think this still exists today. And then there's some structures over here. This is all private property on, on that both sides here. Now, one thing that uh, this map shows is a road going up here. Now, there's a canyon here that this map doesn't really show. So the 48 map shows this a little bit better here, that there's a canyon going up this side, and if you go back here, this creek comes in here from the north, and there's a canyon up here that's really not shown. So it's hard to use these maps switching between years because they don't show all the same features. But this map does show an old road here that heads off to the southwest and then heads up the side of the ridge. So that's something I need to try to check out. I think I found the bottom part of this road and I showed you that in the previous video. So there's all sorts of things like this road doesn't show show up on this map, but then there's a structure over here, and I also showed you that on the previous video. This structure over here, I think it actually made use of this road that's not shown here. So you find a road from this map, and it's used to get to this structure that's on a map 70 years later. But anyway, just thought I'd show you some of the information you can glean from these old maps, you know, looking at the time sequence, you know, what was there, when did something show up, when did it disappear, and as you go back in time, various things show up. So 1948, there's structures there, and then in 1960, the structures are gone, but the pond shows up, and that coincides with the evidence I've seen that when they put this pond in, the overflow channel from the pond basically took out the road that came over to access these structures. So yeah, it's um, really interesting going back and forth between all these different maps and then going out in real life and trying to find some of these structures and then there's also things that you find in real life that aren't on any of the maps. Apparently I was pretty close to this cabin site on this particular hike here. I just didn't know that this particular map showed this particular structure site. So I need to go back and use this USGS topo map 
under Gaia GPS and then see if I can get over here. There was some brush in the way. At the time, I wasn't quite sure there was something over there, but now that I see my track on this map, I can see that I was quite close to that area. So I want to see if there's actually any foundations or rubble over here. Somehow, I want to try to get up to this area and see these old dwellings here. And then there's also this old road that goes up this side canyon here thing to realize is this is one quadrangle that I'm looking at and you can see here here's the scroll bar in this whole width and then here's the vertical scroll bar so I'm zoomed in on a tiny tiny portion of one map and there's all that information that you can glean out of that one map as you zoom in way less than 1% of the area of this map that I'm looking at. And there's so many things you can find there. And you could probably find the same things over here and the same things up here. It's just amazing how much information you can glean out of these old maps. It makes it kind of hard to follow some of these things because some maps show structures but not roads and other maps show roads but no structures. And, or the 1961 map is probably one of the better ones. It shows structures and roads but not all the roads and not all the structures. If you have any questions about that post up in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.